AI is taking over your home by 2026, and what it can do will blow your mind. Imagine sending your robot clone to meetings while you stay home, watching a humanoid fold your laundry with perfect precision, or a robot that senses your mood and helps you unwind after a long day. Hey guys, Alfie here, and welcome back to the AI Nexus. Today, we're diving into the 15 mind-blowing ways AI robots will transform your home and free up your time like never before. So let's start. Number 15. Automatic laundry folding and organization. Imagine tossing a messy pile of clothes on the couch and saying, sort the shirts, fold the towels, and stack the socks. A humanoid walks over, flattens a t-shirt with surgical precision, creases sleeves, matches socks, then organizes everything by type and owner. And by 2026, this won't be fantasy. It'll be in your living room. Figure's Helix system has already demonstrated a humanoid folding laundry end-to-end -end with multi-fingered hands, using a neural network to learn the task, marking a first for humanoid robots. Their Figure 03 model was unveiled specifically for household chores like laundry, dishes, and cleaning, with demos showing it loading washers and putting away items. The only thing more satisfying than neat stacks? Not lifting a finger to make them. Number 14. Digital Clone Robot Imagine you have to meet someone but don't have time, so you send your digital clone robot instead. It walks in, speaks in your tone, mirrors your gestures, and handles the entire interaction as if you were there. Digital replicas are already real. After actress Suzanne Summers passed, her husband worked with Realbotics and Hollow.ai to create an AI version of her that sounded and acted just like her. Combine that kind of tech with today's voice and face cloning tools, and your humanoid could attend meetings, greet guests, or even give updates on your behalf. It's you, without actually being there. A little strange? Maybe, but undeniably groundbreaking. Number 13. Emotional Support Companion I'm not promising a therapist on two legs. I'm talking about a calm, patient, always-on coach that recognizes stress signals and asks gentle questions. By 2026, companion robots like engineered arts Amika, which can read facial cues and react with lifelike expressions, will evolve into mobile home helpers with emotional intelligence and memory. Imagine a mecha noticing when you look stressed and saying in a calm, friendly tone, you seem tired, want to take a short break? It won't replace real human connection, but on tough days, it might just help you breathe, smile, and reset. Number 12. Smart Recipe Suggestions You open the fridge. Half a bell pepper, two eggs, yesterday's rice. The robot glances inside, recognizes ingredients, and suggests three complete dishes with steps and timing. Robotic kitchen systems like Moly have demonstrated the capability to plan and cook meals, with software that proposes dishes based on available ingredients. Meanwhile, one X's NEO features visual intelligence to recognize counter ingredients and suggest meals. It's not top chef yet, but it absolutely kills the what's for dinner debate. Number 11. Elderly Mobility Assistance. Think dual form helpers that switch from rolling support seats to standing assistance with manipulator arms. In China, Robot Gym has showcased a dual form Q1 robot, essentially a wheelchair plus manipulator platform that navigates tight spaces and functions as a mobile assistant. The broader trend shows assistive robots combining safe mobility with gentle manipulation to help people stand, reach, and move without strain. That's dignity on wheels, soon transitioning to legs. Which of these tasks would change your daily life the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm genuinely curious what resonates with you guys. Number 10. Entertainment host and performer. You won't just ask a robot to fetch tea, you'll ask it to host your gathering. And by 2026, that's exactly what you'll get. Unitree's Compact G1 performs kung fu routines and dance moves with impressive precision, while engineered arts Ameka can engage in conversation, tell jokes, and display nuanced facial expressions. Imagine movie night intros, birthday toasts, or party icebreakers led by a charismatic bot with perfect timing. It's a new living room experience coming in 2026. Part MC, part DJ, part stand-up comic. Number nine, interactive homework tutor. You say, explain fractions, and the robot displays a crisp animation on its screen, 
acts out splitting a pizza, and quizzes your child in their own words. Robots like Miko 3 already package Steam lessons, Q&A sessions, stories, and games with animated visuals and voice interaction. Now picture that content delivered by a mobile tutor that can gesture, point, and maintain attention in a fun, kid-safe way. Parents get breathing room. Kids get a patient coach. Win-win. Number 8. Delivery and Package Management The robot hears the doorbell, opens the door, greets the courier, and stows the box in your hallway. One X's NEO is built for home chores, opening doors for guests, fetching items, tidying, and putting away dishes. It features a chores function for scheduled tasks, plus expert mode where remote professionals guided through new jobs. Early testers demonstrate plant watering and vacuuming on scheduled days. Delivery handling is just a small leap from that existing skill set. Number seven, comprehensive pet care. This hits home. We adore our pets, but walks, feeding, litter maintenance, grooming, it accumulates fast. Home robots will start with basic routines, refilling bowls, medication reminders, toy tossing, fur vacuuming, and alerting owners to unusual behavior. With improved grippers and arms, expect supervised litter scooping or gentle brushing. Combined with computer vision and veterinary guidance, your bot becomes vigilant eyes when you're away. That's genuine peace of mind. Number six, custom skill learning. The breakthrough? The best robots won't ship with all answers pre-programmed. They'll learn them, and by 2026, that learning happens in your home. Tesla's Optimus shifted training toward a vision-only approach that learns from observing humans perform tasks, like folding clothes or picking up objects. Taught through video examples, this unlocks Teach Me Your Way for household tasks. Your folding technique, your pantry organization, your quirky cabinet handles. Over time, the robot adopts your personal style. That's how it becomes your robot, not just a robot. If you could teach a robot one unique skill from your household, what would it be? Comment below, some of these are going to be gold. Number five, creative collaboration partner. Not just a helper, someone to brainstorm ideas with. The artist robot Ida offers a glimpse, equipped with cameras for perception, a robotic arm for drawing, and the ability to hold conversations and recite poetry. Pair that creative conversation capability with a humanoid that navigates your space and remembers your projects. You brainstorm scripts while it sketches quick storyboards. You riff on melodies while it adjusts lighting and displays lyrics. Creativity gets a co-pilot. Number four, automated plant and garden care sounds simple, but it's transformative. Miss a week and your plants suffer. NEO-style robots already demonstrate plant watering and demonstrations, scheduled Tuesday mornings, walking to each pot, pouring measured amounts, then moving on. Their visual intelligence can spot wilted leaves, and with moisture sensor add-ons, they'll identify which plants need water. It's like giving your plants a personal gardener with perfect memory. Number three, artistic and musical jamming. Partner SoftBank's Pepper proved the concept. A social robot built to connect, teach, and perform in classrooms and stores, sparking storytelling and collaborative play. Now bring that creative layer into a home robot that paces the room while you ideate. Pitches prompts, reads lines, beatboxes rhythms, or suggests color palettes on the fly. When creativity stalls, motion and presence unstick it. That's a studio collaborator you can actually high-five. Number two, personalized habit building, morning stretches, five reading pages, two liters of water, 10 p.m. lights out. You set the plan, your robot executes the playbook. Chinese firm Ajibots, a two-line, demonstrates how embodied AI platforms can learn routines and refine skills over time, with versions tailored for service roles. Translated to home use. Scheduled nudges, posture checks, hydration reminders, clean-as-you-go kitchen routines. A habit coach that moves with you is harder to ignore than a phone notification. That's the point. Number one, meditation and wellness guide you dim the lamps. The robot sets a soft glow pulsing at six breaths per minute, then leads a slow body scan meditation while a sleep robot on the couch breathes in your arms to synchronize your rhythm. This is closer than you think. 
We already have breathing lamps for visual pacing and sleep robots like Somnox that physically guide your breath to reduce stress. Add a home humanoid's voice, presence, and memory of your optimal routines, and you get a If this video is blowing your mind right now, smash that subscribe button. This technology is moving fast, and you don't want to miss what's coming next. Unitree Robotics just dropped a new robot H2, and it's turning heads for all the right and wrong reasons. This full-size humanoid packs 31 motorized joints that can dance, do martial arts, and handle delicate factory work with optional dexterous hands. It's their most advanced robot yet, trading the H1's record-breaking sprint speed for serious manipulation skills and flexibility. With a smooth, almost too human face that some call creepy cool and movements fluid enough to make you do a double take, the H2 is Unitree's boldest statement that humanoid robots are ready to move from labs into real-world applications. Hey guys, Alfie here and welcome back to AI Nexus. So let's start with the face. The H2 has this smooth, stylized, human-like face that's either gonna fascinate you or freak you out. Some people are calling it uncanny valley territory, like those silver androids from iRobot. One blogger straight up called it creepy cool, and honestly, I can't disagree. Unitree dressed this thing up in actual clothing for the demo video, and suddenly we're not looking at a robot anymore. We're looking at something that could pass you in a hallway and make you do a double take. That's intentional, by the way. Unitree wants you to feel comfortable around this machine because their whole pitch is that the H2 is born to serve everyone safely and friendly. Those are their words, not mine. Now you might be thinking, okay, Alfie, it looks human, big deal. But here's the crazy part. This machine is packed with 31 motorized joints. 31. That's a staggering 19% increase from their previous R1 model. What does that mean for you and me? It means this robot moves with flexibility and smoothness that'll blow your mind. The demonstrations showed it busting out coordinated dance routines and martial arts moves that would make Jackie Chan jealous. We're talking pirouettes, high kicks, the whole nine yards. The agility and stability improvements are absolutely mind-blowing. But wait, there's more. Let's talk about what makes the H2 different from last year's H1 model. The H2 actually has a bit less mass to its frame compared to the H1, even though they're both full-size humanoids. The H1 weighed in at 103 pounds, while the H2 is 154 pounds. You're probably confused right now, wondering how H2 is less than H1. Stay with me. What I mean is the H2 redistributed its weight better. This clever engineering lends itself to much quicker footwork. You can see it in the videos. The thing moves with a speed and grace that the bulkier looking H1 just couldn't match in certain situations. Let me break down the technical stuff in a way that'll make sense. Each H2 leg has six degrees of freedom. Each arm has seven degrees of freedom. That's a massive jump from the H1's five degree of freedom legs and four degree of freedom arms. Translation? The H2 can move its limbs in ways that are seriously human-like. It's got this new three degree of freedom waist that lets it twist and bend like a gymnast. The engineers followed something called a flexion abduction rotation hip configuration. Sounds fancy, but basically it means the robot can do all those fluid dance moves and kung fu kicks you saw in the promo. Here's where it gets really interesting though. The H2 made a trade-off. Remember how the H1 set a speed record at 3.3 meters per second? It could sprint. The H2 sacrificed that raw speed for something arguably more valuable. Dexterity and strength. It's limited to under 2 meters per second. But what it loses in sprinting, it gains in manipulation ability. Each H2 arm can carry 7 kilograms normally and handle up to 21 kilograms briefly. That's the same payload as the H1 but with way more control. And get this, the H2 can wear optional dexterous robotic hands. We're talking multi-finger hands called the DEX 5-1 that let it grip and manipulate objects with scary precision. It can fold clothes without squishing the fabric. It can weave wires into panels with its arms stretching to full length while the spine twists into all sorts of awkward angles. Factory demonstrations showed it handling delicate tasks that would require serious finesse. This is not your grandfather's industrial robot. The power situation is pretty slick too. There's a swappable battery pack tucked in the back, 864 watt hours, same size as the H1s, 
It'll run for about two hours. And those M107 motors Unitree developed? They're low on inertia, making the movement speedier and quieter. Each joint delivers 360 newton meters of torque. That's enough to lift 15 kilos overhead or hold a squat position for extended periods without toppling over. Now let's compare this beast to the rest of Unitree's lineup because context matters. You've got three main players here. The H1 from 2023, the Compact G1 from 2024, and now the H2 from 2025. The G1 is the baby of the family at 1.3 meters tall and 35 kilograms. It's designed for classrooms and light duty use. Starting price? About $16,000. That makes it the affordable entry point for universities and robotics labs wanting to experiment with humanoid AI. The H1 and H2 are both full size at roughly 1.8 meters, but remember that weight difference. The H1 was built for speed and set records in 400 meter sprints. It costs around $90,000, though some configurations run up to $129,000. The H2 isn't officially priced yet, but industry analysts expect it'll cost well over $100,000 given the advanced specs. It's positioning itself as the high-end research and development platform. Now here's where it gets really interesting. The H2 can actually do useful stuff. We're not just talking about dance performances and looking cool on a runway. This robot can fold clothes with fingers that grip fabric without crushing it. It can bring items from one room to another while scanning shelves to figure out where things should go. In factory settings, demonstrations showed it weaving wires into panels, stretching its arms to full length while the spine twists into awkward angles that would make a human chiropractor nervous. The only time it's not doing repetitive activities like sorting bins or inspecting production lines is when it's showing off those martial arts moves. This thing is built for repetitive jobs and onboard software logs everything, learning new tasks each time it performs them. But let's keep it real for a second. Is this the future or just another expensive tech demo? Unitree's CEO, Wang Xingxing, is pretty transparent about where things stand. He positions the H2 as a high-performance research and commercial platform, complementing their low-cost R1 model but he also admits that humanoid robots still face serious technical limitations delaying mass adoption. Right now, the H2's use cases are mostly developmental and demonstrative. It's showcasing what's possible with human-like dexterity and AI capability, but it's not a finished consumer product you can just buy and bring home. China's robot scene is exploding right now and Unitree is right there competing with the big players. Boston Dynamics has their Atlas doing backflips and parkour in labs, but Unitree is going for a more accessible price point. The H1 sold for around 90 grand, and rumors say the H2 will be in that same ballpark for bulk orders. With government grants flooding the market to push prototypes into real production, the whole industry is opening up fast. Wang's vision? By 2030, thousands of robot fleets working warehouse shifts that never get tired. Jobs that humans take for granted but struggle with because you know we're human. So where does all this leave us? The H2 is a milestone. It's proof that humanoid robots are getting more capable, more human-like, and more ready for real-world applications. Universities and research labs will eat this up for studying bipedal locomotion, AI perception, and human-robot interaction. The high degree of freedom design makes it perfect for manipulation research, way beyond what the G1 can handle. And yeah, it'll make killer demos at trade shows and exhibitions because watching this thing move is genuinely mesmerizing. But for now, this is still early days. The H2 isn't practical for your home. It's expensive, experimental, and untested in domestic settings. Maybe someday we'll have humanoid helpers doing our laundry and cooking dinner, but that's still years away. What we have right now is the most advanced humanoid unit tree has ever built. With 31 joints, 360 newton meters of torque per joint, and enough AI horsepower to navigate complex environments. It's not perfect, but it's a glimpse of where we're headed. And honestly, that's pretty mind-blowing all by itself. If you think that's crazy, wait until you hear this.